All right, got a baseball bat variation with a gi, with a shirt, and with a plate carrier. Um, just kind of give you some uh, different perspectives on on how the gi or uh, how the how the upper garment can be used to your benefit, regardless of what the individual is wearing. So, starting with the gi, what I'm going to do is after I get side mount, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get up into the basically off on a 45 like in an upper mount type position or a 6'9 position. So I'm going to come in. I want to make sure I keep my weight low. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to slide it up underneath. And I'm going to move my body out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to take and I'm going to go palm up and I'm looking to come in and just grab the gi up in here. All right. So I'm here. All I'm going to do is get this hand in. I keep my weight on top of him so that he can't move. And I get this up in here. All right. Once I have that secured in here, I have up under the shoulder. I'm good. I'm going to slide thumb in to the back. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sprawl my weight out and shift my hips. Once I'm here, I have the choke. All right, so this hand basically is going to come down and I, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to use my wrist to catch this artery and then the gi itself will be pulled up against this one. That other hand is basically turning in and I essentially have like a baseball bat type choke from an upper mount. So one more time, I'm here. I get up into a 6-9 position, hand comes in, finds the inside, thumb comes in. Once I'm here, I drop my hip, I shift my hip, and then I just continue to drop in and work it around. Okay. Alright, so we're looking at doing the same uh, position, basically, let's say a street fight type scenario where the individual is wearing a t-shirt, which is probably the lightest garment that an individual might wear. If you're doing this with a cami blouse or something like that, it's even more sturdy, so it even actually works even better. But a lot of people uh, complain that the t-shirt can't be used. It can, you just have to be able to get that, that fabric and get it wound up into a rope. So, same type of situation, I'm in here, my hand is going to come through and what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get under the fabric up in here as deep as I can and I'll just start pulling up as much fabric as I can. If I want, I, if I have the opportunity, I can pull this up into here and grab deeper, but it may not be feasible, just depending on your situation, it's, it's fine. If I sew this up in here, and I just start pulling up as much fabric as I can kind of clench up with my fingers. So, once this comes up into here, I'm looking to just grab as much fabric as I can. The same situation as before with the gi, thumb goes in, grab as much fabric as you can, drop that hip, shift the hip, and then I've got the chip. Okay. One more time. Six nine. I'm up in here. I'm gonna move my arm out of the way so you can see. I'm grabbing. I'm pulling fabric. And because nothing is across the throat yet, he doesn't necessarily feel like he's in danger yet. Once this comes up, I get this hand in. From here, I drop that hip. I shift. And then I've got the choke. Okay. All right. So, combat type situation. You got combatives elements involved. So, plate carrier. Obviously, if he uh, if he has a combat shirt on, I may not be able to pull that cloth up from underneath the plate carrier, but I still have the straps. Now, the straps don't conform around the neck as easily as say a gi would but you can still utilize them, they just got to be utilized at the right angle. For instance, I wouldn't necessarily be able to get like a cross gi type choke with just the straps here, it'd be kind of hard. But I can be able to attack from the side, which is the reason for me to come around and get on that 45 and be able to attack from like a 6-9 position. So, same type of situation, I'm up in here, grab in tight, this hand comes under, and I'm looking to just grab that Grab the top part of that harness in there, just like this, okay? So four fingers in, palm facing up, I'm going to grab that harness. 
once this is here, hand comes under the head. And basically what I'm looking to do is the reverse. I'm just going to take my four fingers and lock down on top of the harness. Once I'm here, drop that hip, chip, and then I've got the chip. Okay. One more time. Come to a 6-9 position. I'm in here. Hand comes under. I thread. I get my four fingers in. Hand comes under. I get four fingers out. I drop that hip to keep my weight low. I shift my hip. And then from here, I've got the chip. All right.